John chapter 3, verse 19. We're going to talk about a lost man. We're going to look at a message that I've done on the street a couple times, and now it's written down. And we're going to look at a man in the eyes of God that is lost as a cockroach. A man that will not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as his Savior is nothing better than a cockroach. And I'm going to show you that you are the characteristics of a cockroach. You are no better if you rely on religion, atheistic, agnostic, education, money. If it is not the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, as your hope, you are a cockroach. You two as an insect and as a human being match together. And I will show you by the end of this message that you are a cockroach. And nobody wants a cockroach around. Matter of fact, if a cockroach is seen, usually the reaction of somebody would be to exterminate. You will not find cockroaches, as you turn to John chapter 3, verse 19, you will not find cockroaches in heaven. You'll not find them in the new Jerusalem, the new heavens or the earth. John three nineteen, And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. Jesus Christ, John chapter 1. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light and neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Listen, you go in your kitchen in the middle of the night and you flip that light on and there's a cockroach there. First thing he does is run. And when you bring the light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the first thing that you do, Mr. Cockroach or Mrs. Cockroach, is you run. And you hide. And that is going to be the exact life of man when the Lord Jesus Christ comes again in the second advent. Is you're going to run into the caves and ask the rocks to fall upon you. You're going to be in the darkness as the light comes. And you're going to run and, run and hide as a cockroach does. You don't want the light. You don't like the light. The light shows you who you are. Listen, when I turn that light on, there's a roach. I know who you are. No matter how fast you run away. And the only thing you want is you want the food that I leave behind. The water I behind. You don't want to have anything to do with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, about cockroaches. They enter your house through cracks, crevices, vents. Sewer and drain pipes. You know, they'll come up to your bathtub without getting baptized, with no water. They'll come to where you bathe. They'll come into where you eat. They can be in a Christian's home. They can be in a Christian church. As you turn to John chapter 10. You can probably find a cockroach in a Bible believing church. Maybe you had a cockroach in your baptism pool.
Even though the Bible forbids your marriage to someone who's lost, you may have a cockroach in your bedroom. Legally. John chapter 10, verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that enters not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. You don't come through the door. If you have read Pilgrim's Progress, which I hope you do, Pilgrim's walking away, walking down the road one day. He's on the way to the celestial city. Here comes a couple men up and over the wall. Well, I'm just like you. I just don't have the, the clothing. I don't have the, 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 the proof. But aren't we working to the same place? Listen, a cockroach can go back to his cockroach family and say, Hey, I live in a Bible-believing Baptist church at home. I've lived in that home all my whole life. That guy preaches the Bible almost every night. Yet, if I have not believed in the way, the truth, and the life, I am still a cockroach, even though I'm in a Christian home. You know, you're not a butterfly. You don't start off life as a caterpillar and get metamorphosis into a cocoon where you come out as a butterfly, a new life. You are a stinking cockroach. And a butterfly, even though he lives his life as a worm and, and you know, and grow from that, the butterfly goes out and flies out in the light, in the sunshine. And yet, if you don't come through the door of the sheepfold, you are a thief, you are a robber because you stole my food, you stole my water, and when, it, you had to, when I turn the light on to you, you run away. You're a cockroach. And the only thing you leave behind me is your feces and your diseases. You know what a lot of people do in this world? They leave their feces and their junk behind. There are some had diseases and died and, and left the disease to someone else. You are a cockroach. I guarantee no cockroach or roach is not mentioned in the Bible by name. I guarantee if you were to read Levitical law that it is an unclean animal. Especially if it comes out of a sewer drain pipe. That right there would tell you enough. It's not clean. They need... Or you need, Mr. Cockroach, water, food, and a nesting site. John 10, 7. Jesus said unto him, Very late, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pastor. Christ is the door. Christ is the life. Without the door, without the proper way of coming in, you're just a cockroach, and your philosophy in life is no better than anybody else's eat, drink, and be merry. And to have sex and to make more cockroaches. That's your whole ambition in life. Even if you are involved in a religion, or if you are an agnostic, or whatever you believe in education, or whatever to be, is food, drink, and sex, and die. You've got the life of a cockroach. A cockroach is no better than you are. You both hide in the dark. You both want to eat, you both want to drink, and you both want to have sex. And then you die. 
and a cockroach will fall on his back with his legs up in the air and die just like you will. You've got to come through the door and you've got to have the door. You can't come in through cracks and vents and all any other way you think you can. You can't come in by the ways of religion. If you are coming in as religion or your works or your education, that is considered a crack, a crevice, a vent, sewer, or a drain pipe. Because it is not the door. And you come in only to eat, drink, and have sex and die. And you can find that in the Bible. Paul says if there was no resurrection of Jesus Christ, we well, just eat, drink, and be merry, and tomorrow you die. But I have hope. I am made righteous. I am no longer a cockroach. I am beauty. I am a child of God. I don't creep in the night. I'm in the light. And I'm that mean, nasty person that will take the, the, the flashlight and flash it on you in the middle of the night to show, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And if you don't realize what a life of a cockroach is, you get out in the street, Mr. Christian, and you preach to people, and you show them the light, and you show them their reaction. They'll want to run and hide. They want to shut you up. They don't want to hear it. They want to be in their darkness. Matthew 7.13 There will be no roaches in heaven. Matthew 7.13 says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. There's that door. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. For many there be which go in therein. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads unto life. Few there be that find it. You are to enter in the straight gate. You are not to go in the broad way. The way of God through Jesus Christ is straight and narrow. The way of destruction is broad and wide. And it says many there be that go therein. And if you run over to chapter, uh, verse 22, and we'll start in verse 21, we get to the next point. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of the Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, many, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have we not cast out devils, and in thy name done many wondrous works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. But Lord, didn't I live in a Christian house? No, that don't work. You're a steward cockroach. But Lord, wasn't I in the Baptist church? No. You're still a cockroach. And this many brings us to the number three point of a cockroach. When you see one, you have not seen them all. You may see one cockroach in, in your house or in your church or wherever on the streets. There's a lot more. 
There's plenty more. You know, I may see on the streets of Daytona Beach, Florida, a cockroach. I haven't seen all the ones in, in China. I haven't seen all the ones in Africa or Europe. Central and South America. I haven't seen them all. But, oh, brother, are there a lot of roaches out there. And they are all going the broad way unto destruction. They're going to that big can of raid in, in hell. And they will, some of them will profess to be Christians. And Jesus will say, depart from me. I never knew you. You are a worker of iniquity. Haven't we done wonderful works? Even not in the light. Haven't I been to this place where, yeah, but you're not. Have you been through the door? Have you known the door, Jesus Christ, personally as your Savior? Or you, Listen, as all the bugs in the world, a cockroach can say, hey, I'm a bug. And he is a bug. But what are your characteristics? There are many roaches out there, and many will go through the broad way. Many human beings will be will die and be put into the lake of fire. Many. That, that's, that's a proven fact out of the scriptures. And it's a sorry fact that few will be saved. That's a biblical fact. It's a sorry fact. Because many may be our loved ones. Our co-workers. And maybe be friends that we have in a church. It may be your own personal family in your house. Maybe many. And according to verse 21 to 23. They may profess. You know, they may put the, the superhero costume on the outside, but underneath, they're a roach. And God will need to get rid of roaches before New Jerusalem comes. He can't allow roaches into his glory. He can't allow roaches in his presence. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your door, as your salvation, as your only hope. But you're going to see many human beings that will die without the hope of the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Okay, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Second Corinthians four four. You know what cockroaches like? They like dark, warm, moist areas. You read about the child that was possessed with the devil, how he was oftentimes thrown into the fire and thrown into water. A moist warm area and they are active at night while the Christian sleeps you would not want to know what cockroaches are doing and you know what's so ironic in 2014 cockroaches in America I can speak for only are coming out into the light they're saying hey 
I want to be Mr. and Mr. Cockroach. Marry us. Hey, I don't need the dark no more to break into somebody's house. I'll kick the door in the middle of the daytime. You know what does not impress me, Mr. Governor Scott of Florida, compared to Connecticut where I come from? It looks like you can buy alcohol anywhere in this state at any time. And I am told that you are a professing Christian and you can buy alcohol anytime. You can take that Bible belt off down south if that's the truth. Where I come from, you couldn't even buy the alcohol on Sunday. That, that's a law that's just been changed. Now you can, but there was a time you couldn't buy it on Sundays. There would be grocery stores back in Connecticut, Mr. Governor. At a certain time, you pull the shade down. We can't sell it no more. I don't see no shades at the store where I work. There is more booze in the 7-Eleven store than there is soda. I couldn't even find a root beer in the 7-Eleven. But well, I could find all kinds of other beer. That's one of the drinking things that the cockroaches love. They used to do it at night, but now it's during the day. Crime is happening during the day. There's the sodomites, the sinners, they're coming out. They're coming out of the closets where darkness is. And they're professing their sins openly. We don't want God. We don't want the Bible. We don't want prayer in our public daytime school. We don't want the light of our children to see. We want our children to be as and to be raised as cockroaches with no light. And churches are falling behind that too by getting rid of the Bible with quick little stories and, and little song services and to get away from the gospel and the word of God. Because we rather have the cockroach money than the pure Christianity money. Where Christian money, you know, it's the same money, it's filthy, but it's been put to good use and maybe even prayed for, where you don't know where that dollar bill from a cockroach came from. You know, they say the most filthiest thing is it's money. It's been through so much perverted and diseased hands. And they say, you know what the cleanest thing in your house is? The toilet bowl. He said, well, that's impossible. Well, it's flushed so often it's kept clean. Now with our thing in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, in whom the God, small g, of the world, has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. You know what Mr. King Cockroach doesn't want for his cockroaches? He doesn't want them to get the light. So when you've been on the street or, not, or dealing with people for an hour, two hours, and you say, okay, time to pack up, time to go home, you pack everything up, and you start walking back, what do you see left behind? You see bread. I see bread. I see water. Sometimes we're able to pick it up and reuse it. And some of you don't even know what I'm talking about with gospel tracks. Some of you don't believe in using them. You know, when a cockroach, you know, he, he picks up that thing, and, and, and the king cockroach, get that out of your hand. Get that out of your hand. You know, that's caca. When you hear a mother yell at her child for taking a gospel track, don't take it from those people! No! Let me teach you to, to grow up and take... Illegal substance from a guy who's going to sell it to you on the street. Take that, but don't take that literature about Jesus. 
Put a Budweiser in your hand, but not a Bible. Don't take the light. Be a cockroach in the middle of the night. Run! That's a street preacher. Cross the street. Get away from him. Because Satan does not want his cockroaches to be Christians. And he will lie to them to say the bar room and that pretty girl after 25 drinks is so lovely and that you meet with her in the middle of the night and then, oh, wait a minute, three months later, now you become Papa Cockroach. And lives are destroyed by night living. Satan wants you blinded. He does not want you in the light. He does not want you to be metamorphosis into a Christian. He wants you his cockroach. Because if you no longer be a cockroach and turn into a Christian, you are no longer under his authority. You will die one day and go to glory where he will not be. And when he stands before Jesus Christ at the great white throne judgment, and he looks at all the used to be cockroaches, happy, singing, praising God to what he wanted. Listen, he had the nerve to tell Jesus, bow down before me and worship me. Wait till, he see, wait till he sees the day when all his cockroaches are no longer cockroaches worshiping God. That will make him angry. That will make him defeated. The nightlife is not a Christian expression. It's an expression of Satan, of sin, of death, of sorrows. Of wickedness. There was a time in America if you want to commit an adultery, you did it in the dark. Today it's on the television set. When I used to, when I was lost and drinking all that, went to the bars, the bars were dark. There was no light in there. Very low light. And it was neon lights, gee, the colors of flames, red, yellow, blue. Social, and they live in groups. Well, this one I'm going to try to find. I read this one today. Let me try to find it. Matthew... This one I read today, so let's see. Matthew chapter 13, verse 24. They are social insects, and they live with groups. You know that? I bet you even some of them gather up Sunday, and they meet in a building. And they sit there and talk amongst themselves. Maybe you even have a few cockroaches on a Wednesday night. They're out in a bowling alley place. Maybe you get a whole bunch of cockroaches together and they, they just have a, a party. 1324, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. Good seed. Read about the parable of the sower. But while the man slept, when do you sleep? Okay, when do you sleep normally if you didn't have a night job, like me? You sleep at night. So while he slept at night, guess what? His enemy came second Corinthians 4 4. 
and sold tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, there also appeared the tares also. So you got wheat and you got tares. You got children of God and children of Satan. You got children of God and you got cockroaches. So the servants of the household came and said unto him, Sir, did not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then has it tares? Where do these roaches come from? And he said unto him, The enemy has done this. The servants said unto him, Will thou that we go and gather them up? You want us to go spray rain over them? You want us to go get gallons of rain? But he said, No, nay. At least while you gather them, while at least you gather up the tares, you root up also the wheat with it. Listen, you go around spraying raid, you're going to kill the Christians too. You know, there's a time in, in church history where the roaches wanted the Christians dead and did it. Read Fox's Book of Martyrs. Yeah, but you never find Christians killing roaches. You don't find Christians killing unsaved men. We try to convert them over to Jesus Christ. We don't kill them. Only roaches retaliate. Let both grow up on um, let both grow up together unto the harvest. And in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Now Here's the parable explained. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man. Capital S, O N. The field is the world. Aren't we in the world? The world is full of cockroaches. Many. And the good seed are the children of the kingdom, the few. But the tares are the children of the wicked one, Satan, the devil, the many. You know, there are more weeds in the garden than there are good fruits if you don't pick them. If you don't go into your garden, one day the weeds will overgrow the fruit and vegetable plants that you want. The enemy that sold them is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the world, and the reaper are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of the world. And the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity. You know, the lifestyles of an insect or any animal is just wickedness. You know, the Bible say that dogs are unclean. Have you ever noticed what the lifestyle of a dog is? Have you read some of the things that the Bible records what dogs do? And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. And there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. But those who are not cockroaches. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Cockroach. What must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved in your house. Acts 16. Romans 10. Verse 9. Romans 10. Verse 9. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. 
thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The scripture saith, Whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed. Listen, you become a Christian born again, you flash that light. You're not going to want to run. You're not going to be afraid no more. Matter of fact, if you're a true Christian, you're going to want more light. Give me more. I'm not going to be just content with the Old Testament. I'm going to read the New Testament again. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to pray. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to witness. I want more lights. You want to be ashamed when the light comes on. And it's also recorded in John 3, 16, some cockroaches do come to the light. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God wants saved cockroaches. God is not willing that you become a cockroach and remain a cockroach and die as a cockroach. God is long-suffering. God is not willing that any should perish. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, the blessed hope, the coming of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, Jesus, might be saved. There's hope for you, Mr. Cockroach. You're not dead yet. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ now and be saved. And no longer be a cockroach. And come out in the light. And get refreshing. And have life eternal. And to be glorious in the eyes of God. But... He that believeth on him is not condemned. I'm not condemned. I have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior since April 21st, 1987. But he that believeth not, Mr. Cockroach, that is you, is condemned already. You keep being a cockroach and you are condemned. You need to be out of being a cockroach and get saved. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. And stop being under Satan. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. You choose to remain to be a cockroach because you have not believed on the name above all names. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Only Jesus can save you. Only Jesus can get you out from being a roach. Only Jesus can give you hope. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. There are Bible preachers out there. There are Bible street preachers. There are Bible Christians who go knocking on doors. There are who pass out gospel tracts. They get the light out just like it's the middle of the night. You want to get a drink and you flip that switch. And the light comes on in the kitchen. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And they run from the light when you walk in the kitchen 3 o'clock in the morning. And they run from the light when you knock on their door, you hand them a gospel tract, you preach on the street, or you preach Jesus at a funeral, or you preach Jesus at a wedding, or you witness to your co-workers, you witness to your family. That is light. And many the Bible has recorded to say they do not like the light. They want the darkness. They want to live in sin. They want to do wrong. They want to follow Satan. They do not want to follow Jesus. They do not want to be saved. They want the broad way. And the sorry fact is that somebody who you love and dealing with with scriptures and witness to them about Jesus Christ, they don't want it. And God may be telling you, move on to somebody else. Stop living with the roaches. Come out and be clean. 
and be clean with the word, whereby you are washed with the word. You are cleansed by the sinless blood and the precious blood of the Lamb. For the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There are some cockroaches out there that will never be converted. They want to be a cockroach. They enjoy being a cockroach. And there are some, according to 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, there are cockroaches out there who are blinded. And are kept blinded by Satan. For everyone that doeth evil hateth light. A cockroach hates light. Neither cometh to the light. You've never seen a cockroach walk in and flip the switch on. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. For all have sinned to come to show the glory of God. Cockroaches don't seek God. God seeks the cockroach. And they turn and run and hide. But yet God's long-suffering. Adam hid from God. Genesis 3. Because his deeds were wicked. He ate something he wasn't supposed to have eaten. All for his bride. He was deceived. Not Adam. He did it because he loved Eve. Least his deed should be reproved. You know what that means? The light of the gospel, the light of the word of God will show you who you are and they don't want to hear. They know they're committing adultery, but they don't want it to be pronounced. It's an affair. They know there's fornication, but they're shacking up. They're gay and lesbian and homosexual, but the classification is called sodomy, abomination. Well, he took something, and the Bible calls it a thief. A little white lie is called a lie. And John 8, 44 says, Satan is the father of lies, the author of lies. See, there are some cockroaches out there, they don't want their sin revealed. They don't care. They're going to keep doing it no matter what. They're going to do what a cockroach is going to do no matter what you do to them. That's the many. And that's a sorry thing. But yet there are some cockroaches out there, if you show them the light, they will turn. They will do and get right in the eyes of God. Those are the few. But for the few that do get right and get saved, it, it, the many will not. But he that doeth truth, you don't want to be a cockroach anymore, do the truth. And cometh to the light. Come out amongst what your family roaches are doing. Amongst the congregation of roaches are doing. Come out to the light. When that guy is preaching to you on the street or those people come knocking on your door, listen to them. Adhere to them with an open Bible, King James 1611 Bible, talking to you about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, how he was buried. How he was, how he died. He was buried and arose again from the grave the third day, in the third night. How he died for your sins and if they come to your door, make sure they profess that God is Jesus and Jesus is God. Make sure they are not a Jehovah Witness because Jehovah Witnesses proclaim that Jesus is not God. And Second John says that's an Antichrist and you're to have no fellowship with them. They are not bringing you a light. They'll bring you a flashlight, all right, with no batteries or dead batteries. That ain't going to do you nothing. That his deeds may be manifest. Listen, if you come to the knowledge of your sins. Acknowledge that you're a sinner before God. And God will clean you. God will save you. God will forgive you. God will grant you to be called his child by Jesus Christ in your faith and in your belief on what Christ has done for you through the gospel.
that they are wrought in God. You can come out to be a cockroach. Or you can choose to remain to be a cockroach. It's your choice. It is your salvation. It is your damnation. It is your condemnation. You have a choice today. As of this day, do I choose to be a cockroach and enjoy my sins? Or do I come to the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved and to repent and to put it all under the blood of the Lord Jesus? That I can be called a child of God. That I can inherit and get eternal life or I could be a, a cockroach and perish. The choice is yours to be or not to be a cockroach. I advise you to be a born-again, Bible-believing Christian by the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ for the gospel that he died for me. He was buried, and the third day he arose again, all according to Scripture, that my heart believeth with righteousness, and my mouth is confessing to you. I ask you to come and be the few and not the many. And I realize some of you are going to watch this video and you're going to be the many. And you have been witness to and you have been told about your ways. And you are without excuse before the eyes of God. Stop hiding. Stop running. Come to the light. Come to a Bible-believing church. Come to a born-again believer. Come to that Christian you know at work that's a, that you think is a fruitcake. He's got the light. He's got the way. He has the truth, and he has the light. And it's all in the blood, and it's all in the testimony. It's all in the scriptural fact, and it's only in one, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, No man cometh unto me. No man cometh unto the Father, excuse me, I said, no man cometh unto the Father, Jesus said, but by me. You can't get to G God the Father by religion. You can't get to God the Father by education. You can't get to, to God the Father ignorance. You only can come to God the Father by the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation's plan is just a fairy tale, but their lies don't change the truth that Jesus died for you, and the word says his returning could happen any day. I'm gonna shout it from the housetops, proclaim it from the mountaintops, tell the world around me Jesus said.